What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I told you we get inside this thing. Uh, got the street walker out there. She's just sitting waiting for me to finish putting everything away. So this is a really neat floor plan. Something new, something I haven't seen before. And I really wanted to uh, get you guys an inside with the slide out video. So I talked to the guy and he said, cool, do your thing. So he's done his check-in. We're all done. He's doing the paperwork. I'm going to meet him in there. So you've got your really good size bedroom suite here. Nice storage. Lots of cabinetry. The toilet's isolated. So, you know, if your significant other's got that, that funky smell, you can uh, get away from it. Uh, nice shower in here. Decent size room for an RV. Not, not huge, but decent size. Nice little bathroom. You can isolate it so if you're entertaining, entertaining guests, you can close everything off. Uh, really nice fridge. Kind of small counter space, but a, a good, really uh, nice layout. They're maximizing what space they do give you in here. TV with couch, dining area, some more storage here for like a pantry. And then this is all the slide. Uh, when the slide's in, it's about here. So that's the only thing I don't like about this one is with the slide in, you can't access anything. But I've said it a lot. If it's just you and your significant other and you don't have any kids, good unit, good unit. I would say this is probably the, the best one I've seen for just a two people unit or even one person if you're by yourself. Uh, it's got a lot of amenities. It's a really good unit. Uh, I can tell you it, it was a short distance. I, you know, I only went 180 miles with it. But... For under fifty thousand, it's really it, it's your high end. Uh, I mean, fifties, fifties quite a bit for a little a little camper, but it's really high end. You, in this case, you do get what you pay for. Anyway, this is gonna be a really short video because I got some stuff I gotta take care of. Gotta go uh, take the check for the new truck we just bought and take that down to the dealer because they're kind of waiting for that. And it showed up today while I was out doing this run. Short day, but I used. I'd say less than $100 in diesel and $225 payday. So $100, $125 profit, maybe a little more. Not bad for, what, one, by the time I get home, six hours. I'm not going to be upset at that at all. So I told him I'd run the slide in for him since he was kind enough to let me do my video. And uh, as soon as we get this slide in, oop. Gonna turn off the lights now as soon as we get this slide in i'll go unhook my battery and i will go do my paperwork i'll submit it all through our mobile app for the company so i can get paid and then uh go home and see if i can find another load uh, i won't be doing anything else today just because by the time i get uh get home and get that check taken care of at the dealer. It'll it'll be late enough that it's not worth it. By the time I get hooked up to from any of the yards, I'll uh, the truck stops will be full. It'll be a pain to park. I'm not gonna mess with any of that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my battery away. Had to sacrifice the ratchet strap, but I got plenty more at home, and I'm right there. Uh, so, with that being said, those of you out on the, on the roads, as always, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care, and have yourselves a great day.